What's going on everybody? I'm Alex, AKA Alex the Vagabond, and you are watching Vaga Brothers. Right now, I am just outside of Park City in Utah, and I'm super excited because in this video, I'm partnering with Visit Utah to show you the secret side of Sundance Film Festival, but not just the festival. I'm also going to be highlighting all the incredible activities you can do in the region and we're getting started right now here at Wasatch Excursions going on an epic snowmobiling adventure. Let's go. Snowmobiling is super fun, but I've only done it a couple of times in my life. I do own a motorcycle and ride it quite frequently, but they're similar but different. I'm excited. It's been a long time since I've gone snowmobiling, but uh, it's really, really fun. And we are in a beautiful place for it. We're right on the edge of the Wasatch Mountain State Park. As you can see back here behind me, it snowed overnight, so there's a little bit of fresh powder on the ground. Can't ask for much more. It's a beautiful day and I'm excited to get on one of these snowmobiles. Let's go. This is Matt. He's gonna be our guide today. Yeah, you know Wasatch Excursions. What's the plan? So today we're gonna go up Pine Canyon Road. Okay. We're gonna head up to the top of the mountain. We're gonna do about 3,000 feet of climb. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and we're in. We'll cover about 35 miles or so today show you guys some of the best spots that our mountain has to offer awesome. and uh, hopefully get the mountain medicine that you guys are looking to get. I'm all about that mountain medicine. Let's do this. Yeah. Woo! How you feeling there, Carrie? Why are you smiling? Because you just look <laughs> really cute in this outfit. I mean, I like it. <laughs> you ever gone snowmobiling before? No, this is my first time. And I think that this is a great place to do it for my first time because it's gorgeous. Enough talking, it's time to go snowmobiling. All right, well, we made it to the top. Behind us, you have Brighton, a resort over there. On the backside over here, Deer Valley. And uh, we're just ripping around on snowmobiles, having a splendid time. Super fun. Riding snowmobiles in powder is a really unique experience. And if you've never done it, then you need to try. Come visit these guys here. They're gonna show you a great time. How are you doing? Fun. Just, uh, you know, make sure everybody stays in line. Stay yeah. safe. You got the walkie-talkie. <laughs> I got the walkie-talkie. You got the responsibility. All right, everybody needs to come back to the base. I mean, I'm in charge here, obviously. It's obvious, isn't it? I'm in the back of this. <laughs> you look like a stormtrooper goes to the disco. <laughs> well, that was so fun. It's been so long since I've ridden a snowmobile, but uh, getting back up into the mountains, into that deep powder, really, really, really great time. But I'm not gonna lie, you know, ripping around in the snow, it does make you feel a little bit cold. So I think it's time we warm things up around here. Let's go, let's go. Well, it may not look like much, but inside of this little dome-shaped snow cone, is a thermal hot spring. We must investigate. We must find out more, and most importantly, we must soak.
Well, that was totally unexpected and extremely unique. I've never soaked in a hot spring quite like that one. I've been in many hot springs uh, in my days, and if you're a subscriber, longtime subscriber on this channel, you probably know that I love hot springs. That one was unique. Never been in one quite like that. The thermal spring is actually 67 feet deep, and it was really cool seeing the scuba divers going down because they were doing some uh, like cave diving training. So. We've done a lot today, but we're not quite done. I think it's time to eat. And I have a feeling it's gonna be kind of a mission to get to our meal, but it'll be fun. Let's go. Well, we have done many things today, but we're not quite done. We still have to work for our dinner, and uh, we've thrown on snowshoes. We're back in the state park, Wasatch Mountain. I just want to say Sasquatch every time, but we're going to hike to a yurt and have a four-course meal. This is gastronomy, people. It's not just food. It's cuisine. So that's what we're doing. We're, we have a hike. I'll shut up now. It's time to start walking. Ladies and gentlemen, it is bright and early. It's about 7.45 in the morning. We've been up since 5 a.m. today because we're going to Sundance Film Festival. We have to arrive 30 minutes prior to the screening, which is at eight, so we're cutting it close, but we should make it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, we have made it into the screening. We're seeing Tesla starring Ethan Hawke. It's a biographical drama and it should be really good. I'm extremely excited. So we'll check in with you guys afterwards, okay? We really love this film. We're always happy to have Michael Almeida back at Sundance. You're gonna meet him at the Q&A and in the meantime, please enjoy the film. And if you could uh, turn off all your cell phones, thanks. Well, that was a super interesting film about a very peculiar and brilliant man. One whose name is spoken pretty much every single day now with the car company, but of which we don't really know all that much about. So it was really interesting insight into his life, his mind, the pros and the cons of being a brilliant inventor. 
and uh, it's a film I highly recommend you go and see when it comes out in theaters. I really liked it. I thought it was really well done. It was unexpected too. The ending kind of had a fun twist to it that I really liked. So we are taking a little stroll through Park City. We're gonna go get some brunch, but I figured this is a good time to kind of share a couple of practical tips about the festival. Getting around in Park City proper, pretty easy. There's a bunch of buses that are constantly running, I think until about 11 p.m. Uh, and your passes can get you on those. There's a good little brunch spot here called Five Seed, which we are going to go sample. So it's time for brunch. So here's the condensed history of Park City. In 1868, soldiers stationed in nearby Salt Lake City traversed the mountains looking for riches. They found it here in Park City, silver. And in 1870, the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad brought many more hopeful miners here to Utah. But the most famous person to come to Park City was George Hearst, the father of media mogul William Randolph Hearst, who paid $30,000 for his Ontario silver mine, which produced over $50 million for him in his lifetime. From its humble beginnings as a wild, rambunctious mining town to its near disappearance, it almost became a ghost town, Park City has reinvented itself as one of the premier ski resort destinations in the world. It hosted the 2002 Winter Olympics and it's been hosting the annual Sundance Film Festival since 1981. Walking around Main Street and the surrounding neighborhood, it's really easy to see that Western mining heritage. And while much of Main Street still resembles that, the stores have definitely changed. They've become a little bit more upscale. You're not gonna find your general store. This is so cool though. Ever since I first visited Park City many, many years ago with my family on a ski trip, I always wanted to come back and attend Sundance Film Festival. And thanks to all you awesome vagabonds out there, we're making it happen. Let's go. If I was born to be a winner, then I'ma grow up to be a go-getter. Let's sweat and tears written in the plaques and kids, one in a million, the billions, a half the same. If I was born to be a winner, then I'ma grow up to be a go-getter. Blood, sweat and tears written in the plaques and kids, one in a million, the billions, a half the same. When only all I know, see, where you're standing the day I know what we're doing. So I'm particularly excited about this event. We are going to be seeing We Are Freestyle Love Supreme. So if you're familiar with Lin-Manuel Miranda, the person behind In the Heights and Hamilton, the hit Broadway musicals, before all of that, he was in a freestyle group called We Are Freestyle Love Supreme. This is a documentary that kind of shows the ins and outs of that whole journey. And then at the end, there's gonna be a live performance. So this is definitely a really popular event. There's a lot of people waiting in line, but this is gonna be super fun. And I'm very, very excited. If you've seen Hamilton or In the Heights, let me know in the comments. We've just finished watching We Are Freestyle Love Supreme and uh, what an inspiring documentary. It spoke to me in an interesting way a lot about the perseverance, the teamwork, the realities of life, you know, divergent paths, but always coming back to the foundation. And for all of them, it was the spoken word in the form of freestyle rap. Unfortunately, it's time to leave Park City. What a pity. It's time to go, but at least we caught the show. I don't think that this story is quite done. 
there's still a lot more fun. I'm not sad, I'm glad because this video is not even close to being finished. My rhyming skills may have diminished in the past few years, but hey, I'm still here. So it's time to go. That was a pretty bad flow, but we'll let you know, or maybe you'll let me know in the comment section down below. Let's go. Get in, get in, let's go, let's Woo! go. Good morning everybody and welcome to Salt Lake City, the capital of Utah. Our adventure here continues. We have a super fun day lined up. More movie screenings at the Sundance Film Festival, a couple of local craft breweries. But first, let's learn a little bit more about the history of this city. The modern state of Utah sits on the indigenous lands of the Shoshone, Paiute, Goshute, and Ute Native American tribes. That's actually where the name Utah comes from. Spaniards were the first Europeans to pass through the area in the late 1700s, but it wasn't settled by Europeans until the mid 1800s, when around 147 Mormon pioneers settled the Salt Lake Valley in 1847. These members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, also known as Mormons, wanted to establish an autonomous religious community, and led by Brigham Young, they settled here near the shores of the Great Salt Lake. Since its foundation, the city of Salt Lake and Utah in general have moved towards modernity and a secular lifestyle one step at a time. As more people move to Utah, the state has gradually become more secular. The lasting legacy of the Mormon Foundation was a ban on high percentage beers and alcohol, which has recently been amended to allow for brewing of higher strength beer. Nowadays, Salt Lake City balances being both a spiritual and secular capital, but what I'm most excited about are the new craft breweries. Let's go. So we headed over to Desert Edge Brewery and used our Salt Lake City Brewery tour tickets for discounts and deals at 13 local breweries. We are rested, washed up, and ready to go to the final screening uh, for us for this year's Sundance Film Festival. We are going to head over to the Rose, which is a theater here, and we're going to catch Palm Springs. This should be cool. Let's go. So good. It's a Lonely Island production from Andy Samberg. So if you like comedy, 
definitely go watch that. What did you think? I loved it so much. It took you so many different places emotionally and was just so unexpected every moment. It was just so, 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 so good. Yeah, definitely go watch that one. Hilarious. Honestly, one of my favorite movies I've seen in a long time. I would agree. That's a great way to kind of top it all off, totally. right? Yeah, I loved it. Okay, well, the evening, the evening is young, but we have an early call tomorrow morning snowboarding, so we'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Brighton. We are on the mountain. It's snowing, there's fresh powder, and I'm joined by my longtime buddy, Zachy. Woo! How's it going? What's up, gang? Yeah. Ready to shred? I am very ready to shred. Yeah. Any tips? Any tips for us on the mountain today from the Loke? Zach lives here in Salt Lake City, so. You just gotta commit. Yeah, is that it? Push the edge a little bit. Yeah, get out of your comfort zone. I like it. Just getting my boots on. Yeah? Yeah. When was the last time you went snowboarding? About eight years ago. Oh so my gosh. I don't think I know how to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We have made it, we are on the lift. We have a carry rad. We have a Zaki P. And we got some powder. There's a little bit of fresh snow. It's a beautiful day. We are just so stoked to be out here. So uh, enough talking, let's ride. Well, we've just linked up with Spencer and Giovanni, two local riders who shred way harder than we do. So they will be uh, hucking and flipping for your viewing pleasure. I will do my best to capture it all and uh, pretend that I can snowboard. So yeah, yeah. how are you guys doing? Good, oh, Great. not bad. Nice little day here at Brighton. Pretty chill. Beautiful is day. it always a nice day at Brighton? Oh, always. And always. the worse day it is, the better the riding. So. Nice, yeah. yeah. It's not too bad. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite thing about Brighton? Oh man, I love the park. Park and backcountry are so good. Mm. Favorite. I dig, yeah. I think for me it's the homies. Like, oh yeah. So many good riders and a lot of good people out here. So That's what it's all about. Oh, you hiked that yeah. earlier? How, were, how was the snow? Oh, it was so good. Really? Soft. How long was the hike? Uh, that's not bad, like 15 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes tops. Nice little park run, but we're gonna switch things up. We're gonna hit up one of the back bowls here. So we have to do about a 20 minute hike. And we're going up that mountain to get some fresh snow. This is gonna be rad, stay tuned.
Okay. Get it. Wish me luck. Yeah. That was so fun. How was that, Zach? <laughs> That was such a fun day on the mountain. Really, really glad I got to catch up with my old buddy Zach. Got carry out on the slopes again for the first time in eight years and also got to ride with some really cool locals who could really shred. But it has been such an incredible week here in Utah. I just wanna say a huge thank you to Visit Utah for bringing us out here and helping showcase this beautiful state to all of you back home. So if you're interested in making a trip of your own, you know what to do. The info is down there in the description box. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your travel buddies, and make sure you're subscribed with notifications enabled so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my personal channel, Alex the Vagabond. Make sure you're subscribed to Marco's channel, at Marco Ailing, and Carrie Rad. Just round it all out. Subscribe to all of them. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had such a good time here at Sundance Film Festival, Park City, Heber Valley. So much beauty out here, just waiting for you to come and experience it. So as we always say, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you on the road. Peace.